Hi, my name's Mr. Westwood. I'm the head of Year 9 here at the Roundhill Academy, and I've been asked to show you exactly what will happen with your lateral flow tests when you come into school uh, next week. Just to start off, I want to kind of answer some questions that uh, I know parents and children have asked, um, getting ready to come back into school about the testing. Uh, number one is, a member of staff won't do the test for you, okay? We will guide you on how to do the tests, but you will be doing the tests yourself in school. Uh, secondly, about the information about the test, once the test has taken place, the information will be sent off and both you and your parents will receive information about whether your test is positive or negative. If you do have a positive coronavirus test in school, the school will phone your parents. The third thing is, you will receive a pack very soon so that you can do some testing at home. That will come from school and they will be handed out to you very soon. Right, this is what a test looks like. You'll be asked to line up under the canopy next to the hall. You'll then be called in. Miss Taylor or another member of staff will then ask you some questions about uh, whether you've had any contact with anyone with COVID or whether you have any COVID symptoms yourself. She will then make a note of your name and she will give you a card that has a sticker on it that you will take up to the test booth. Once you pass this, you'll be asked to then stand on one of the crosses on the school hall floor. When the staff are ready for you, you will be called forward and asked to give in your ticket. Make sure you keep hold of your card. You'll then be asked to uh, remove your face mask and sanitize your hands. Make sure you take note of the information that's on the board in front of you, as that gives you close instructions on what to do. You'll be asked to blow your nose. And then you'll be asked to hand sanitize once more. Members of staff will stand behind the screens at all times, obviously wearing their PPE as well. They'll direct you to take the swab, which you will undo from the packet. And then following the staff's instructions and the guidance that's in front of you, you'll remove the swab. You can then use the mirror that is on the table holding the swab between your fingers, open your mouth wide and rub the fabric tip of the swab over both tonsils or where they would have been. Do this with a firm contact four times on each side. Make sure you don't touch your tongue, teeth, cheeks, gums or any other surface. And then you will choose your favorite nostril to insert the same swab into, being careful to rotate it, following the staff's instructions at all times. Now, if it does make you gag a little bit, don't worry. It might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it shouldn't hurt. From there, you'll take your swab and you will put it into a small tub of solution. The staff will then use that to do the test. You'll, you'll use the hand sanitizer once more. Put back on your face covering, which you should wear at all times, apart from when you're having your test. Take your card, make sure that you wipe the area down ready for the next person and there will be um, some cleaning products available for you to wipe down everything. And then once you've wiped everything down, you can leave out of the side door away to the year eight playground. <laughs> 